Last night, my sister had this crazy dream. She was up on our roof and slipped suddenly off the edge. But thankfully, there was this luxurious pool to catch her fall. This dream made me realize a pool would be a perfect addition to our backyard. Let's go build it. Henley Vocabulary Lesson 13. We're moving on to the fourth conjugation. And the first verb that we come across here is audio, audire, audui, auditus. Now this verb is kind of your base fourth conjugation verb. And the reason why that is is because most of the endings that you see here, that O, I, R, E, I-V-I and then I-T-U-S, most of those will be appearing on your other fourth conjugation verbs. So if you memorize this one, then it's not too hard to memorize the endings or the, fourth for the four principal parts of your other verbs. And this one is actually really easy to memorize as well because of the, fourth, the first principal part, audio. Now you've probably heard that word before. It's an English word that has to do with your ears and your listening or hearing, right? Audio means here. <laughs> Pretty easy one to memorize. Now your next one is munio, munire, munui, munitus. Notice the same endings that were on the audio word, the O, I, R, E, I, V, I, and then I, T, U, S. Now this word is actually connected with a word that you've already memorized. Remember munewerant? That meant they fortified or they constructed when it was with weom or weos. It was kind of an odd verb, <laughs> an odd word for you to memorize before. And this one is really just showing you all the four principal parts of that same word. So it means fortify or construct with weom or weos. Note though that even though it is connected to munawerant, which means they fortified, it is not necessarily always going to mean fortified or they fortified. It just means fortify or construct and the forms will be based off of you know, the meaning will be based off of the forms that you see. All right, next word we see is winio, winire, winni, wintum. All right, so you may see in your vocabulary list that this one is showing all four principal parts, and it's not just the first principal part with the number four next to it. And that's because there are a few slight oddities and or differences from audio. Um, notice the third and fourth principal parts, the winni and wintum. Those are slightly different, so you might want to make sure and memorize those. But this verb right here is used a lot. I'm just going to tell you from experience. So make sure and, this, and memorize this one. And we've actually seen a couple of different um, expanded forms, I guess, of this word. We've seen ad in the fourth conjugation, in the fourth declension, remember, which means arrival or coming. And that is kind of the noun version, and it had an AD in front of it. But this word right here means come. All right, the next word we have is conwinio, conwinire, conwini, conwintum. So just slightly different from the last word, but notice it has all the same endings. It just has C-O-N in front of it. And now just a little tip for you guys. The C-O-N, whenever you see that in front of any word, pretty much, it kind of adds the idea of with to it. So if you have the word come and then with also kind of added on to it, then you kind of get come together for a symbol. And then we have the word pair. Pair is a preposition and it goes with accusative. Now, an easy way to remember this is um, based off of some English phrases you may have heard before. Have you ever heard of the phrase pair diem? As in kind of like maybe how much money you get per day or something like that? Like let's say I get $30 per diem. That means kind of through the day, right? That's how much money I've earned total through the day. So pair goes with accusative and it means through. All right, so let's go back through these words and see if we have them memorized, or we can just practice them a little bit. First word, audio, audire, audiwi, auditus, means here. Then we have munio, munire, muniwi, munitus, which means they fortify, not they, fortify or construct. See, I just made that mistake. Don't make that mistake. Goes with weum or weas whenever it means construct. If it's not with weom or weos, then you're not going. To, it's not going to mean construct. It usually means fortify. Then we have winio, winire, winnie, wintum, which means come.
Come. Memorize that one because it's used a lot. Then we have Conwinio, Conwinere, Conwini, Conwintu, which means come together or a symbol. And then pair. Nice short little word. Goes with accusative. Make sure and memorize that as well since it's a preposition. It means through. Nothing more fun than a nice pool and a duck floaty to go with it. And isn't it refreshing to have a lesson with only five new vocab words? This might be a good time to go back over previous lessons. Remember to keep reviewing the vocab you've learned so you don't forget it. See you next time.